If you are using WordPress and the Divi theme and looking for a way to customize the look of the button modules, I have a few fun CSS snippets for you. Hello, my name is Anya, and my goal here is to help you build beautiful websites. Divi Builder button module, as any other element in Divi, has various design settings, which you can modify both for the default and the hover state. You can change the colors, the background, border, padding, shadow, the position of the button element. There's lots of different settings. But if you'd like to create something extra, something different, animation, fun hover effect, you are going to need to use custom CSS. I prepared a few examples, CSS code snippets, which you can copy and paste from our blog post at uh, the VLover website. And in this video, I would like to uh, show you how you can quickly implement this on your website with our free JSON layout. If that sounds good, let's get to work. First, let me show you the demo page and my examples. Here we have some fun with icons. The default icon would be simply put next to the text, but with a different background color, we can create something else and different. And we can also position the icon on top of the text on hover with different animation styles. Now, if our button doesn't use the icon, we can take advantage of the CSS after pseudo elements. And instead of the icon, we can display additional text on hover also with different animation styles. Moving on, this group also uses CSS pseudo elements that have the same border style as the button itself. And these pseudo elements are initially hidden behind the original button and are simply changing their position on hover. Now here, instead of duplicating the borders, we're adding it on hover to our pseudo element. And by changing its size, we create different animation styles. And the last group shows CSS animation that happens infinitely, not just on hover. You'll be able to use that CSS on any module, not just buttons. And if you'd like to draw extra attention to, uh, to an element, keep in mind that you really want to be careful with this type of animations, only use it sparingly. Okay, so as I mentioned, I included the CSS code on our blog, and you can go ahead and copy and paste the CSS snippet for the button style you'd like to use. But I also prepared a free JSON layout, which you can import to your site, easily edit one of the buttons and copy the corresponding CSS. Let me show you. Once you import the layout in Divi, you will have a full list of my sample buttons. And next to each button, I included a code module with the corresponding CSS code. Let me give you a few tips on how to best use this layout. Let's say you want to use that first button style, the first example with the icon on the right. So you can go into the button settings, change any uh, design styles, uh, change your fonts, your colors, and then you can create a new preset from current styles. Let's call it a button with icon. And now you'll notice that the CSS class is actually part of the preset. So the next step would be to copy the CSS code, which is right next to it in that code module. So everything in between the style tag from here up until here, I will copy that and uh, paste in my theme options, custom CSS. Now, one thing you'll notice is the um, hex code for the background behind the icon, you can change it to your own. And don't worry about the notice error here. This is the correct code. It just DV doesn't recognize the new CSS properties are like variables here. But you can edit that uh, color to match your your brand. Now if I save the changes and add a new page, using the builder. And let's say I want to add a new button. And if I change the preset to my button with icon, 
it already uses that uh, that style so just if we publish that real quick and exit the builder you will see that it has that uh, nice animation and if i go back to the visual builder just to show you real quick in the button settings that css class is right here uh, grayed out added as the default so you don't have to remember it every time you choose that preset uh, that class will be right here for you now a few things to keep in mind which may not be so obvious so back here um, on our uh, button list this button with icon on the right the icon is a pseudo element that uses position absolute meaning that it doesn't take up any any space on its own that is why it's important for to include the right padding to include that space for the icon by adding more padding uh, to the right and uh, similarly with the icon on the left button style here uh, we have a padding on the left on hover is uh, increased to make room for, for the icon you can adjust the hex code for the background behind the icon in in the css now here uh, if we are not using an icon we can display the text and you have to notice that to change that text you would go to advanced custom css and the content of the text here is actually right here in the um, custom CSS so it can be different for each uh, for each button it doesn't have to be the same text over and over again and one thing to keep uh, to keep in mind that um, if the text is longer you do want to make sure that there's enough room for it so again we would need to adjust the padding to uh, make sure that the text fits uh, in there now with the um, buttons that have double borders the second border is using the same button style as the as the border you set in your design settings so here the button uses two pixel border uh, which is that uh, green color but if we change that the second border will also change but remember that if you change the width of the border you would also need to modify the css you see the first variable here is border width but you just want to use the same value so that the position is correct now the lines the the css is very simple and you can change the width of the line and the color um, and then copy the rest so there's no nothing much to remember uh, here and for for the last uh, css snippets these can be added to any module really so it's a simple copy and paste you can change the shadow color for example or the border color uh, to, to match your brand but other than that it's a simple copy and paste and then that class mentioned here can be used on any module not just a, a button okay so that would be all for now i hope this was helpful do let me know in the comments as always if you have any questions feel free to get in touch i would love to see you inside our Divi lovers facebook group thank you for watching and see you next time